a certain virus affects 0.7% of the population. A test used to detect the virus in a person is positive 86% of the time if the person has the virus, which is known as a true positive. So the test comes back positive and the person has the virus. And 12% of the time if the person does not have the virus, which is a false positive. So we get a positive result, but yet the person doesn't actually have the virus. So fill out the remainder of the following table and use it to answer the two questions below. Okay, so where we've got the numbers so far. First off, we have a population size of 100,000. And if you take 0.7%, which is the same thing as a decimal value of 0 0.007, because you have to slide your decimal twice, then 0 0.007 times 100,000 is 700. So that's where they're getting first off this 700. So they've kind of gotten us started here. That's the number of people that are actually infected. Now, of those people who are actually affected, if they're given the test, 86% of them will get a uh, positive result. So this is 86% right here. Now it's not 86% of the entire population, it's 86% of the affected. So 86% times 700, that's 602. All right, and 602 from 700 gives me 98. So this column has to add up to 700. So that's why I know there's 98 in the next group. So this is just so we recall, uh, someone who is positive and infected, uh, that result comes back 86% of the time. That's the true positive. Okay. Now, 12% uh, of the time, the person does not have the virus. So this is like this group right here. So someone who gets a positive result, but yet is not infected. So they get a false positive. So they have a positive result, but they don't actually have the virus. So that happens 12% of the time. But in this population size, there's 99,300 to consider. So that's 11916. So this would be 11916. Oh, I said that funny. Sorry. 11916. All right. So um, taking that from that size population that we have so far, so 99300 minus 11,916, that's 87,384. All right, adding our columns across, uh, 602 plus 11,916 is 12,518. So of our entire population, the number that would get a positive test is 12,518. And 87,482 would get a negative result. Now notice if I take 87,482 and I add to that 12, 518, I do get 100,000. So that means I've set up everything properly so that uh, my, all the numbers on my table work out here. Okay, normally you don't have to set this stuff up, uh, but in this case, we are doing that first stage. Generally speaking, you only have to do the uh, probabilities based off of this table. 
So let's move on to those now. Find the probability that a person has the virus given that they have tested positive. Okay, so this person has been given a positive result. So they took the test and they got a positive result. So we are interested only in people who have a positive result here. And of those people, we want to know what's the probability that they actually are infected. So 602 people out of 12,518. So 602 divided by 12,518. So 0 0.048. So there's still only about a 5% chance that this person actually is infected given that they have received a positive result. And that's just because this uh, virus affects such a small amount of the actual population and the uh, true positive uh, result is fairly uh, low and the false positive is fairly high. Okay, find the probability that a person does not have the virus given that they test negative. All right, so we're now going to look at folks that tested negative. So that's this group of individuals. And we want the probability that someone is not infected out of that group. So not infected, there's 87,384 out of a total of 87,482. So these two numbers are fairly close together. This is going to have a pretty high rate. So if you get a negative test, you can be pretty certain that you're not infected. So 87,482 out of 87, oops, I got the wrong number there, uh, 87, 384 out of 87, 482. So that's 0.999. So you can pretty certain if you get a negative test that you're not infected, but if you got a positive test, it's still not incredibly certain that you have, that you actually are infected.